Earlier in September 2023, India welcomed one of the most exciting and highly anticipated motorcycles of the year in the form of the 2024 KTM 390 Duke. Now we're out here today with another version that has uh, undergone a substantial amount of change like that particular motorcycle. This is the 2024 KTM 250 Duke. And of course, as you can see from the looks, well, this motorcycle looks completely refreshed. It's a big departure away from the previous generation model. And there's more to it because the engine, the chassis, the features, everything about this motorcycle has undergone a certain amount of change and it is all new as well. So what this motorcycle is like to ride out on the road, out here in Mumbai, well, you're about to find out. Like the 390 Duke Naked Sport, this quarter liter version 2 draws its inspiration from the Radical 1290 Super Duke. The new 250 Duke styling is very similar to that of the 2024 390 Duke and you think that both models look identical if not for the displacement defining paint schemes that they are offered. But on closer inspection, there's a little more to it than just that. Yes, the aggressive appearance has been up a notch overall on both motorcycles, but its broad headlight will definitely divide opinion. Now even more so that it misses out on the LED DRLs that flank the unit on the 390cc model. Those sharp tank extensions are also smaller out here and the 250cc model gets an LCD display instead of the vibrant TFT instrumentation screen on the 390. Both the 2024 KTM 390 and 250 models do miss out on a belly pad which exposes the exhaust components a lot more than how it was with the earlier model. In terms of features, the 250 Duke ticks off a good amount of boxes when it comes to modern essential bits like the ride by wire throttle, slip and assist clutch, a bi directional quick shifter, and there's also switchable ABS on the rear if you want to hoon about a bit. Like with the bigger 390 Duke, this one too sports the all new switch gear, which ups the overall feel good factor, and it also gets Bluetooth connectivity, which enables turn by turn navigation and call in music control. There's also nifty average fuel consumption reading along with the other useful ride information in there as well. It does however miss out on the ride modes, traction control and launch control, you know the features that the 390 Duke comes standard with. Still all lovely additions that enhance the motorcycle's aesthetic value overall. But the engine, oh man, now that's one change that I really do to appreciate. Now the best part about this motorcycle has to be the engine. Well. It's all new once again. Now the 249cc single cylinder liquid cooled of course gets a bigger radiator like on the 390 Duke it has two fans to help aid uh, the cooling aspect a lot better. The cylinder head has been changed, the six-speed gearbox, the gear ratios have been revised and of course well it is up on power and torque as well. So currently this uh, LC4C engine, the new one, it makes around 31 PS of max power and 25 Nm of max torque which is up by 1 PS and 1 Nm over the older model. Although it isn't as smooth and refined as the engine on the 390, well the, the new Duke uh, 390, well you will have to work the throttle a lot more to reach the speeds uh, that you would like to be doing to keep up with the motorcycle of that sort but it definitely isn't lacking anything in the performance department for a quarter litre motorcycle uh, well it weighs a lot lighter and of course it makes a lot more power than before so obviously that is always going to be a good thing you could be doing around 80 kmph and top cog at around 5000 rpm or even 100 km power for that matter at a little over 6000 rpm and the engine won't feel as strained as it used to at this speed on the older bike because well of the bigger airbox on this new 250cc model as compared to the older gen 2 model of course it means that this new lc4c motor feels a lot more relaxed in comparison and breathes a lot better which in turn helps keep acceleration smooth and composed at practically all speeds it doesn't feel like you really have to be on it all the time to extract the true potential from this motorcycle because it all occurs a lot more naturally now it's a lot more tractable and manageable at lower speeds with a strong mid-range so you don't really feel short chains on that account but you will have to downshift to execute and overtake in a jiffy when you want to go hard with this one it certainly will not disappoint you'd feel like a kid at a candy store all over again riding posture on the new 250 duke like before is almost upright with very little weight on your palms while your feet are tucked back in a rather sporty manner the bike is also around 8 kgs lighter than before thanks to all those new cycle parts including those lightweight wheels which are borrowed from the latest RC models. 
so it feels incredibly light to ride and agile at all speeds. This new die-cast aluminum subframe that's bolted onto the main steel trellis chassis allows you to take on corners with so much ease it feels almost unreal. And the fact that the ground clearance has increased by almost 25mm now means that it will take some while for you to build enough confidence to tilt low enough and scrape its legs. The MRF tyres held up very nicely out here on the dry, but let's just say that your desire for better running shoes will increase in tandem with your will to push this bike further to its limits. Because hammering up and down the slick gearbox with that crisp quick shifter while taking on corners at speed, well this KTM does lose a bit of its composure. And if that's not your cup of tea, well then you'll also be happy to know that this bike manages to clear every ungodly speed breaker a city like Mumbai can throw at you while the clutch lever remains light and a treat to use in heavy traffic. The WP Big Piston Fork up front is a real boon to have on you, and you feel well informed and in control through it all, even though it isn't adjustable like on the 390D. The preload adjustable offset monoshock gives the rear of the 250 Duke a good mix of absorption and stiffness. Like with the 390 Duke, the seat out here gives you a good amount of room to move about and find the right spot. But the longer you're in this saddle, well, the longer you'll crave a seat with higher foam density. So overall, this 2024 KTM 250 Duke is a lot more rider friendly than it was before while making more power and weighing a lot less than the previous model. And that's the brilliant thing about it because it delivers on exactly what you'd expect from a quality performance focused 250cc single cylinder KTM motorcycle and then some. Alright, now to sum things up out here with the 2024 KTM 250 Duke. Well, as a quarter litre motorcycle, it has definitely upped its ante in the segment because, well, for around the same price that you would have paid like a year ago, well, you're getting a, a well-rounded, a better rounded package in terms of performance, in terms of ride and handling, in terms of features. Well, basically you're getting so much more for the same cost. And in this day and age, there's, it, it's very hard to come by uh, something like that. It has a lot more features and it is more rider friendly. It's a lot more comfortable in the saddle as well. So it, this motorcycle has a lot working for it and it definitely makes a very strong case for itself, even though it is one of the more expensive versions in the quarter litre motorcycle segment at this point. Mm.